Hi everyone, so today I have these two new stencil sets from Dime Price to share with you. They brought it to HSN, so they're both available there now. Um, excuse me, one is more retro, where it's kind of like an everyday feel, and the other one is a very much Christmas related set. Um, my plan today is to play with them. I don't know if I'm going to make a card or anything like that, because I wanted to use this the glitter paste that are in here, and sometimes, you know, they take a few minutes to dry, maybe a little bit longer, so I don't know, we'll see, but we will definitely play with them and make some patterns and designs today. Um, so these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items to those links. Uh, so thanks for using those guys. What I'm going to do is open them up because as you can see the way they're packaged, they're in a nice box. Um, they're all stuck together here, but I want to show you they have like a tray. So you have, oh, these are a lot of stencils. Are, they're really nice. It feels really heavy, <laughs> just of stencils. And then um, you put that tray back in there. And if you want to store them this way, you know, great. I'll probably put these right in my um, mixed media bag uh, with all my other dye pressed glitters and paste and things like that. But we have that. And then they come with, oh, there's a cover on this. <laughs> um, a spatula, a large spatula, which is really awesome. Both kids do. So if you want to just spread the same kind of paste all over, you know, your uh, layering, they're basically layering stencils, so I guess I should have back up and mentioned that, but we'll look at them in just a minute. I just want to show you what else it comes with. You can definitely do that. If you want to just say, you know, oh, I want this part to be this color and this one to be a little more this color, you know, you can just use the smaller spatula. And then um, the retro set happens to come with copper glitter. And these dry pretty quickly, like I had mentioned earlier, a few minutes, but again, it just depends on how thickly you use them. And rose. Oh, those are so pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is open the other one up just like this. I'm going to take the plastic off of this, and then we'll uh, talk about everything in these kits is sturdy feeling. Um, this is going to want to close up still. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe we'll look at one and then the other. So this is retro, and this one's holiday, okay? And so retro comes with the rose and the copper glitter, and holiday comes with... Yeah, the spatula. In there. Uh, it comes with a uh, beautiful emerald. And from down here, it looks kind of bluish. I don't know if you can see like the reflection of it, but it's green. And I'm assuming a red one. I don't know. I make a lot of assumptions. I guess I should, shouldn't have popped this one back down <laughs> so I can grab this one. Uh, ruby, yes. All right, so those are gorgeous. And again, we talked about, uh, I had mentioned they're like layering stencils. So what they're showing you here is, um, you know, you want to go through. Uh, this particular stencil, and we'll talk about it, is called, I, I'm assuming it's called Holly. Yeah, it's called Holly Jolly. There's Holly, and if you see on that first base layer, I would say, oh, just do everything green. But there are red dots, or dots, so you would probably want those to be red. And that's kind of what they're showing you here. Like to do, just in those small areas, you use like a little pouncer. And you go in there, and you just exactly color what you want to color and then um, the accent layering uh, stencil they talk about that how to rinse them clean them off you know go ahead and just let them dry up and things like that but these are this is really sturdy it feels really nice <laughs> I like this paper um, so what they're showing you here on the happy holiday is just how they layer so we have all wrapped up and look how cute the little gifts again I mean if you want to go with all just one color and then glitter over the top or just another you know color of uh, ink you can definitely do that or you can select what you're trying to color and how you're trying to color it and look something like that I love the little cookie one I mean I'm pretty much gonna use that one today it's called Christmas cookie you have um, what well, looks like gingerbread if you're using that kind of color or sugar cookies that'd be really cute with like different icing colors but uh, gingerbread with a white top I think would be very easy to do so you have those layerings um, the uh, ugly sweaters so it's called sweater weather but it has eight sweaters eight different designs and then you can fussy cut these it can be a background I mean use it however you like um, I think this one's going to be really fun. It's just so cute. And that's the Holly one. So again, they showed you typically, or how to use this one specifically is the word I was looking for, not typically. <laughs> and then uh, uh, stockings, how cute is this? Again, different colors, do them all one color. I mean, look how cute those um, images are there for uh, how they did that. And then um, gingerbread houses. Oh, how cute. I just thought it was like a little houses, but yeah, it says gingerbread houses, but you can color them however you like. It's like a set of houses, right? And so these are the uh, stencils themselves, oversized stencils, and these are six by eight, nine and a quarter, six by nine and a quarter. And then obviously the image size that's inside, that's gonna be a little smaller. So these are, again, all wrapped up. 
Christmas cookies. I mean, good, sizable. These are definitely things you can fussy cut. Uh, I think they're really cute. The sweaters, for sure, super easily. Have them as accents, you know, for here and there. Super cute. Oh, so the holly and then you know, everything we talked about. But you can kind of see, even these last two, how they layer up with each other. Cute. Okay, and then retro. Retro is a little bit different. It has some different um, ideas in here as far as the layering. So let's look at this. Uh, like this one, they're showing you if you want to do this cool background, do the glitter paste, let it dry completely, and then you can come in with the accent corners. Um, if you're using the glitter, right? Obviously, if you're using ink, it's no big deal. You just move on, start using the ink. That's so pretty. That is a very interesting design. It's super different. So, oh my gosh, look at this. So, let's check this out. Um, so, again, some of them, they have like an A2 size looking stencil. So, both designs are on the one. Um, other ones are different, so we'll just check this out. Again, it's very different from the others. Uh, this one looks like it's on its own, a standalone uh, background. It's a big, like, flower kind of very groovy look to me <laughs> on that one. This one they just used, uh, they colored the different areas, right? To get that kind of look. Um, and this one here, it has the flowers in the corners. This is called Retro Garden. And then um, it just leaves that center open. This one has more of a floral design, different from that, kind of like this guy. Um, and then it's standalone also. Uh, and again, with this one, you're playing with the colors on your own with like a smaller like dauber or something. Um, this guy, you have this central kind of uh, motif there, and then you have these corner ones, but they're not stuck together on your stencil in a way, so there's like, these guys are high up, these guys are down low, so you can um, move it as you need on your paper for that to work. And then this one again, just playing with the color with daubers, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm looking at these other, there's a lot of stencils in here. Okay, so this one does pair up. So you have this guy that makes like a little frame and then these guys are accents like flowers within that frame. Oh, and it looks like you can keep going. So that would be sunburst one and sunburst two. So this is two stencils that go together with four layers. Um, you have this accent uh, color here, like in the center of the flower and these little areas. And then in the middle, if you wanna put the sunburst in there, you have that cool sunburst. Uh, very nice. Uh, okay, this one over here is called Flower Frame, and it does its own thing. So you have this accent, and then to finish it off with like little flowers all around. Um, this one's called Retro Foliage. Very cool, very, again, groovy feeling to me. <laughs> like, I don't even know if that's 60s or 70s, but that's the vibe I'm getting. So the frame, and then you have the little flowers that go in there, and it even has a stem that kind of comes around delicately. That one that we saw at the beginning here on the instruction sheet, so it is called Foliage Border because the center is open, so it's like a border kind of design. Uh, with this guy, it looks like, okay, so it's gonna do its own thing, you know, just pick and choose the colors wherever you wanna place them. And then this one's just kind of more like a border. And then this one has, uh, it's called mix and match flowers. So it has corner options, like you just wanna use the corners. Then you have these guys, so of course you would do that and then flip it you know, to the other side and do those two. Same thing with those. You have some different motif flowers. Um, Oh, how cute. So this is the same mix and match flowers. So they're saying is like if you did your corners first and then go in and pick a flower to go in the center, you can do whatever you like. Play with that. And that's retro. And again, we already talked about the glitter paste it comes with and then the different uh, designs here. They're really lovely. And like I said, I'll probably do some backgrounds today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna complete a whole card today, but you will definitely see whatever backgrounds I create in other videos because we have other things that we can play around with with these guys. Okay, so let me grab some papers and uh, we'll just get to so it. For the retro set, I'm going to start off with the sunburst one because it's very interesting, one and two. And I think I'm just going to make the frame and I'm probably going to leave out the sunburst that way later if I just put a sentiment in there or whatever. And actually you can just put a sentiment, you know, stamp it over the sunburst itself depending on the color you use for it, how light you want that to be. Um, but uh, let's see here. I am going to just take these guards off of this. Is that there? And I just have a piece of paper. I already cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. So, you know, typically what you would want to do is have a bigger piece of paper because you have these registration marks that'll help you line things up. Uh, with this one, I don't know if it has to be super exact lined up. So I'm just going to go for it and go from there. And then I do want to use some of the glitter paste. So what I'm going to do is glitter paste um, this part. 
this actual frame which might be your number one right if you put that down then everything else can be based off that but I'm gonna start with the flowers and then um, just kind of center them in my paper again I'm not using the registration dots because I already cut my paper down a little smaller so as you can see it's like right on the edges so if your paper was bigger you could definitely use those and I'm just eyeballing this and I hope that that's gonna be okay you know so if that's that let me see how it looks over here normally where it would be as far as the frame yeah I'm just gonna be within those dots so just above there and you know whatever happens happens that'll be fine so let's put that there maybe a little more this way and I'm going to hold it down from the back which is a little interesting um, here we go just because my paper is smaller already and of course we can stick the paper to the um, surface, whatever it is that you're using. Uh, these little glass mats are available on mydianpress.com now. So you can see them there. Again, my tape is facing up and that's okay. Uh, maybe put that there. Here, so this I'm going to do inking and the last step I'm going to do the glitter paste. So let's yeah, see. Bring out some inks, but I'm also going to look at the image just to give me some inspo to know where things would be, you know, or how I'd want to do that. So like these flowers and the centers is what we're doing with this one. And then these little kind of stars here. So whatever, you know, color you want to choose for that. And so I'm just going to grab these guys. I was going to go with a little more muted colors, but you know what? Let's go for it. Let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch. What colors are... I'll be right back. You know what? Let's do orange. Why not? Something fun. And then the glitter I'll use is the pink one. I think that'll be really nice. So let's just go for it. So I'm just going to grab some ink. And again, you don't have to make everything the same color, right? You can pick and choose what you got going on here. This particular stencil this design is very easy to use. You just go in there and you don't have to like pounce. And sometimes was, when there are things that are more delicate, you'll definitely want to pounce because you don't want to move the stencil while you're doing this part there you go that's a juicy ink um, I can't remember when these were launched so long ago and you can see how juicy they still are okay and let's see here so that was the first one I'm gonna take a moment to rinse that off clearly and put this back here and then I'll use number two or the second one which is this guy and again, I'm eyeballing because I did not use the registration marks, but basically, um, get a little closer there, a little bit here. What I'm looking for is that these little C's, like these little crescent moon type shapes, are the center of the flower, basically. So there, that looks really good. And maybe this one go, comes up just a little bit. And again, I'm eyeballing that. Hope you can see what I'm doing. See how that's the flower center. And I'm holding this tight so my paper doesn't move. Yeah, I can put that there. And let's see, these accents are going to be... Oh, this, like, again, the <laughs> center of the flower is in these little areas here. So just kind of eyeballing that. Uh... Let's go with the green. Why not? This happens to be the Jeweled Summer um, ink set. And I'm going to try to do a little bit lighter because I went pretty heavy handed with that first one. So I want it to look a little more rustic. I don't know. So I'm doing a little bit lighter. Just so you have some variation of color. You know, when I do my stencil, I don't like it to just be all like super red if it's red. I like it to look like it's a little pinky on the edges or, you know, something like that. So I went a little bit lighter that time. And then this last one we're going to do is just the glimmer paste. So let me go rinse these off, especially the other one, because I'm going to use the opposite. Look how pretty. Really bright pops of color. I'm going to go rinse these off, and I'll be right back. Hands aren't too wet still. Uh, let's put this. So this is the, um, the frame there. And this is the part that I'm going to use the glimmer paste. Now again, I kind of lined them up within those little dots, but as I'm looking at it, I can see like where this little line, the stem, is kind of like in the center there or whatever. And so that's what I'm looking at at this point because again, I'm just lining this up by eye. Um, that looks pretty good. I'm seeing the little centers of the flowers over here. 
I'm just going to right there. Maybe this one can come up just a little bit. And see how that looks. Alright. So again, I'm going to turn that over carefully. And with this one, I am going to put a little more something. Because we were using glimmer paste, and I want to make sure that this surface is really holding down as much as it can hold down. It just stay down. And I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use the spatula, just because I'm more of a pro with that spatula there. Let's get a little of this guy. And again, keeping it pretty smooth. Like flat, should I say. Scrape it up whatever's left because we can take that and bring it over here on this side. And I kind of like to pull towards me, so I'm gonna move this so I can still do something like that, like maybe here. Bring it this way. Just collecting the extra glitter. I'm sorry if that little crunchiness hard on your ears. Okay, and now I'm just using the very edge and just flatly collecting whatever is left because you can put it right back in. Your bottle, okay? And generally I wipe these things down. Oh, I do have, I actually have some paper towel here, so I'll wipe that off. And, you know, just clean up as much as I can, but I'll take that off afterwards. So let's lift this up. I think I got glitter on that, so that's done. I'm not going to try to use that again later, because I might get some glitter where I don't want it. So we're just going to pick that up. Oh my gosh. Look at those colors. I love that orange. is almost like mango-ish, and then that pink. So I took a minute thinking about, should I glitter, like, the, these accents, or should I glitter? I was like, I don't know, and then maybe the flower should be glittery, or obviously it can all be glitter. You have to wait in between, right, to, for all that to dry. But I love the way it came out with the frame part um, and some of these little accent flowers down here. And again, we could have switched out, you know, this maybe copper, and maybe this was the pink, you know, copper, copper, pink, pink, copper. That would look really lovely, too. But uh, I'm going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to clean up. Um, I always just wipe these off really well before I rinse them because I don't want to put glitter down the drain and into the water. But I will be back. So for um, the holiday set, I'm just going to leave the papers as large, or my paper just as large as it is. We'll use the registration marks this time around. Um, play around a little bit. You know I have to do the ugly sweater, so let's grab that one. And I'll probably create these as motifs so I can use later. And honestly, this one doesn't have registration marks, so you can just do it and then put the other one on top. You know, go for it. So with this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just to hold it down here and here. A lot of times when I use tape, I stick it to my table here in front of me, so I have just lots of random pieces of washi, so I'll just do that. Um, have this. I mean, I cannot... Look how pretty. And then the pink is going to really super pop once it dries. It'll be really um, just more crystalline looking, you know, because uh, the glue is a little bit white. So once it dries, it'll be nice and clear. Oh, I'm looking for ink, aren't I? And should we go traditional colors, maybe? Let's see how red that red is. Sure. Okay. So this one's like a deeper red. This is from the neutral or natural ink. And so maybe I'll do a couple you know, little red sweaters. If you are scared, I'll show you right now, like as I'm working with this, kind of focusing on the top and letting that bottom. But let's say you're afraid you're going to get into that next area. I would just grab a scrap paper, which I thought I had some. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this one. And just put it in between. You know, or tape it off, but this is just the easiest thing to do is just to put down something like that. And it'll help you. I'm kind of focusing on this top part and then just kind of letting the color drift away at the bottom. Um, I think that'll look nice. 
Okay, so there's a red, and then I'll do the same thing with like this one that's more of like a foresty green. So I'll move this down and do these green, and then maybe some blue or something, I don't know. So when I come back, I'll have eight sweaters <laughs> stenciled in very easily. Okay, I'll be back. So I just chose some fun colors down here, like a very light, almost uh, lime green. I was thinking about pink sweater, that'd be really cute, obviously. You can do whatever you like, lots of options. And then with this guy, Let's go ahead and do some uh, glimmer paste or glitter paste. I mean, even the white like texture paste would be really fun. Actually, maybe I'll bring that up for my um, an original uh, kit. So as I'm looking at this again, there's no registration marks, but clearly these are like the arm areas and the little neck area. So as I look at that, that's just how I'm going to line it up for all these guys. So I'm checking that out, seeing where they're at. That is so cute. And then I also kind of pretty much lined up with the edge of my paper. So I guess that's another way of knowing where where we need to be. So there's that, and there's this, and okay, so let me grab some paste from the kit. Again, if all in one fell swoop, you want to use that big spatula and you want everything to be, you know, red accented or accents of green, you can definitely just run that through. I'm trying to think if I want to, hmm, like mix and match, like green and green or green with the red. That's probably what we want to do, right, if we're really going for kind of a ugly sweater feel. And of course, I tossed out my... Um, paper towel, so I'll just grab a little scent-free Huggies wipe there, <laughs> and so, okay, green, and you can scoop it from wherever, but I'm just going to get it from in here, and again, I like to keep my hand there just to make sure it's nice and flat. If it's flat, it'll just have less uh, chance of it squeezing through an area you don't want it to squeeze, you know, and again, I'm kind of collecting that, and I guess I could do, oh, how about, let's do that. Let's do two with the green and two with the red. Do. A little something there. Scrape that away. Looks like I got that whole thing. And then a little arm over here needs a little something. And I'm just gingerly like using the very edge of this to scrape away whatever we have here. Okay. That was my green. Wipe that off. I use some of the red. And then maybe these last two we use, like I said, just some texture paste. I can bring some of that out. These areas are fine, but the glitter just gets right down in there, which is really nice. So I'll clean these guys up, grab my texture paste, and I will be right back. So texture paste, Ooh, of course I have a little glitter still on this thing, of course I would. Alright, here, and I'm just going to place that on there, and again my hand is kind of here, keeping things where they should be. Some there, and I'm gonna do some on this green one. You probably can't see it, but I'll be down in here adding texture paste. Um, what was I gonna say? I think that's it there. Okay, this one is a little softer, a little more liquid, so I'm just being more careful. And these last two, I'll just use um, some ink, just go in there with ink, okay? And I'll be back. So I just grabbed the purple just to play up that blue. I thought that'd be really fun. And then I went ahead and used it on the green one. It's very Nightmare Before Christmas feeling, in my opinion. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the texture paste. So cute. And look at the accents. I mean, everything, again, delicate. But the glitter just went right through there in such a nice way. It's not like chunky or it doesn't look like like chunks are missing. Do you know what I'm saying? It really got in there. And then look at the texture paste. How fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm going to wash this off and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So... 
a lot of stuff accumulated here. I will let that dry. Again, if you want to hit it with a heat tool, you can definitely do that. The texture paste might react. The glitter paste might react, but you always just want to keep it far up and away, and you'll you can get that going. You know, like this one. I mean, however long you think this took me, you know, to do this and then go into this. It's not sticking to my finger, but I would definitely not like smash this because I'm sure it's still wet underneath. So, again, more and more brilliant as it dries. How cute. Okay. Let's put those to the side somewhere where I'm definitely not going to hurt them. So for the next um, one, um, you know I'm going to do the cookies. I have to do the cookies. So I'm just going to grab that. And I brought out some ink that would go along with that. Um, oh, Christmas cookies. So cute. I was thinking, you know, it would be really cute to put them, like, on a gift bag. Like any of these things, those smaller gift bags. Um, you can definitely decorate. Super cute. Um, with this one, what I was thinking about doing is not so much gingerbread cookies, but maybe I was going to use the texture paste, you know, you can definitely do that with the white icing. But, you know, to make it a little more festive, let's use the red or green glitter or both or however. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just stick that down, is try and use a light brown. Where did I put that? A light, light, light brown. Let me see what this one looks like. You know, when I make my cookies, you're supposed to cook them like they're, um, cook them, bake them, um, until they're just the slightest brown, but they're very kind of light yellowy color. So it's going to be hard to replicate that, but I'm going to try to just, just lightly go in here. Maybe just around the edges as much as I can. That's kind of what we're looking for. I know it's kind of a interesting thing to do because it'll be very light. Maybe not even picking up on camera too well, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and just lightly, lightly get the very edges of a lot of these guys, okay? And I'll be right back. So lightly, lightly, just went around the edges. I know it looks like hardly anything, but honestly, for me, sugar cookies, that's how they are. <laughs> They're supposed to be barely anything, you know, the coloring. Um, oh, I had this this way, right? So we're going to bring the part two. And um, again, I pretty much lined up with the corner of my paper. There are no registration lines on this. So just bring it up there. And we are going to decorate these with colors, like the glitter glitters. Um, I don't know. I think I want to do just all red. That'll be cute. And you can do, again, maybe this one red, this one green. You just have to be careful as far as where you're at. And you know what? I will try that big guy since we're doing all the same color and I have not tried this before. So I have the faintest idea how to use this. So I'm going to place it like all across. I'm using the very corner to like pick this up. Trying to get it there and all over here. Just trying to get a fair amount. Because I'm going to scrape it down, right? So we want to make sure. I still have plenty in this corner, but I'll wipe that down. And starting up here, I will. Ooh, this sounds gravelly, but that works really well. And as, as you're doing this, it's pushing this down for you, so it's not like I'm not afraid that I'm just going to get stuff all over. I'm going to get some of that extra. Bring it right down. And generally, you should go in the same direction the whole time, but as long as you're really pushing down, I don't think that really matters. And I'm sorry if you need to pause, not pause, but like, turn your sound off, <laughs> go for it. Wow, I was a little chicken, I'm not going to lie, to use this, and that works really, really well. And right down here I have some areas that need a little extra. Okay, I'm going to go back and give one more scrape just to make sure everything... Okay, hopefully you're watching the screen. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you can turn the sound back on. That was really cool. Well, I'm glad I tried that out. Because like I said, I've been afraid of that. <laughs> um... And look at that. They're super light, I know, but again, for me, for being a baker of sugar cookies, that's how it is. And you can still see all the outlines and, you know, with the frosting, your icing, it looks really, really cute. I'm going to go wipe this off again and then wash it off and I'll be so, back. Um, 
that is what I have for you today as far as, you know, making these backgrounds, these fun things that we can use later on other projects that, you know, I need it to dry, so I'm just going to wait on that. Um, but this is where we started. So pretty. And of course you can use it either way, maybe, you know, cut it down with a little matte layer. Um, stamp something in there. Again, it had that sun you can put right in the center there, but that was a really gorgeous design. These guys are already, yeah, drying, because again, it's not that much, and they dry pretty quickly, the glitter paste do. Um, the texture paste takes a little bit longer to dry, so if you have that and you're using that, just let it sit for much longer. And then, of course, we're going to do some fun fussy cutting of these guys, and that'll be really nice for upcoming projects. And this guy I'll probably make a background out of, so we have that one too. And he is the freshest one, so I'm going to be very careful with him. But thanks for watching. Thank you so much, Diane Press for these items for review. I hope you had fun watching, you know, just getting a little, a little dirty, getting our hands a little dirty. And, um having some fun with that. All right, guys, I'll have everything linked in the description box, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.